woman who designed the label is uh, another friend of mine. Is in Mujer Andina work a lot of women doing some different little works in the in the project. This is the idea. And you launched La Vita in 2012. Is that correct? Or when did yeah. the yeah? So 2012. The first harvest was in 2012, and. Uh, it's ready was ready in 2014 because we we have uh, we put the bottles for 44 uh, 24 months with the lease and uh, it's ready two years after and uh, yes, when course. we launched in chile de levita the people are very interesting in the wine because it's rosé it's syrah and it's organic and it's made by the woman and, uh, of course, we have a we have very very good uh, um, what do you say, Francis? We we have a very good appreciated. With the people like it in the 2014 when they launched the the Levita uh, in the Chilean market. It was people loved it. <laughs> Everyone loved yeah. it. People loved it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Francis. So. Uh, the I, oh, I had a question and I just blanked on it. Um, <laughs> the Levita, it was aged for 24 months, right? And then was it an additional six months in the bottle or was it yeah. 24 months total? No, no, it's an additional. We harvest okay. it in March, early March, because we need one degree minus in the, in the sugar, in the bricks, in the level of sugar of the grapes. Yes. And then we ferment it like a white wine. Uh, with low temperature, 14 degrees Celsius uh, to 15, no more. And then we put in the bottle with the sugar and uh, with the yeast again, and we wait for 24, 18 to 24 months. And then we, uh, when we make the disgorging, disgorging is good. Yeah, uh, disgorgement. Mm -hmm. Disgorgement. Uh, we wait six more months for the, the the wine is really quiet and ready, and the bubbles are integrated to the wine. Yes, of and course. it's a lot of lot of time. It's a for, lot of time and effort. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah. for those of us, for those of you that are just joining, um, I just want to say a quick thing because a few people joined a little bit later. This is Andrea Duarte, and she's the winemaker and founder of Mujer Andina, a Chilean sparkling. So we just talked about her first wine, Levita, which is a champagne method rosé sparkling. Cheers. And now yeah. we'll talk Cheers. a little bit. Yes. And now. I, I open it. Open yes, it. Yes, you have to open. Now we yeah. talk about I, which is the cutest label ever. And people freak out about it just for the label aspect. And then when they taste the wine, they're blown away. So it is just the greatest little packaging and inspiration behind this label. And it's a beautiful wine as well. But this wine is made in the Charmant method. So can you tell us why for your second wine, you decided to go the Charmant route? route? Uh, the reason I'll let you take a sip first. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's good. It's very, really good. It's very good. <laughs> and uh, well, I is the second um, sparkling in Mujer Andina, and with the time I I note um, we need a sparkling more um, easy to drink, less expensive than Levita, and uh, who can um, sell in a lot of bottles and make more quantity because Levita is more expensive because it's organic and all is by hand, the harvest, the labeling, everything. And with I, I wanna um, attract the younger market, the millennials, I don't know if uh, they say the same in, uh, in the United States, yeah, yeah. but here in Chile, um, the, I want to be the the, uh, the young people drink wine too. Not only pisco here is very famous the Chilean pisco, pisco sour and yeah. uh, the beers and you know ron or and other things. And the people now are starting to drink uh, more and more wine. And the woman 
especially more and more sparkling wine. And the idea um, is have a, a sparkling more quickly, no to 24 months, uh, only six months with the lees, but it's very fresh and very easy to drink for everything uh, for, uh, you can uh, marry. Can you tell us the, the price difference between the Levita and the I? Um, retail, do you know it? I, for, for SRP, the suggested retail? Frances, her distributor, is on here, so she might know. Yeah, Frances <laughs> have this question. Yes, Frances, could you tell us the price difference for the Levita and the, um, the I? Okay, come back to me on that one, please. I, I, I actually think I know you guys. I think it's about 28 for the I on veganwines.com, and I think it's about 36 for the Levita, but well worth it. I mean, I mean, both are just beautiful wines, so we're not um, scoffing at, at the price difference at all, and that's uh, I, the reason you did that. You wanted to have the champagne method, the more premium gastronomic wine, and then you have the easy drinking every day, open lots of great bubble, open lots of bottles <laughs> and have yeah. like papas and uh, on the beach. And it's perfect for that, the eye. Can you tell us the name for the eye or where the name came from? Okay. Um, the idea with eye is another play on words. You say play on words in the uh, United States? Yeah. Juego de palabras. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Ah, oh, okay. Good. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it's a play on word because uh, when put I, I think in it, the the region, the famous region in in the Valley Marne Valley in near to Champagne in France, the name is A E mm -hmm. with A E it a Y, and I think in in the phonetics means love in Japanese. I mm -hmm. is love. And the other thing is very important in laughing and funny is a very common word in Chile for say, um, whoa, or chats, you know, it's like, kind a, of like kind of, yeah, kind of an exclamation, like, like oh, an exclamation, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, because the, the lady in the, the, the girl in the lady is like, uh, fell over the glass right. and say, oh. And then fell over, you know, like he's she's running and then fell over it into the glass. And oh, I thought she was just excited to see a big coop of bubbly. That's what I would do. I'd be like diving in. <laughs> yeah, the idea. I love it. Uh, for me, if we want to send the message, is you can be relaxed and have fun and take a glass of a, a sparkling wine every day if you want, because. In Chile, it's normally take only sparkling wine in the Christmas, new happy, and in the new year, in the weddings, and a graduation of a school, maybe no more. And uh, I try to um, change the things and put the sparkling in the table all the time, you know? And this is the idea. It, when you go to the supermarket or, uh, uh, especially it's a wine store, you see all the labels and say a big name, a important name in maybe in gold letters. And when you see this, you see the woman into the, the glass, I say, okay, this is funny. This is a but elegant way and funny. And I want to try it. And I, this is my, my marketing thinking in the moment because uh, I am very small producer of uh, sparkling wine. And I want to people know my products and, and taste it. Yes. Well, as a, a primarily sparkling wine marketer, which I've been for the last eight years, I do get it really excited when I see a really cool label and the taste and the winemaking method matches up to how fun and appealing the label is. So you are so fashionable which I love. And how did you create these wine labels? Because they are so catchy. And I know that Tracy, who's on here, and Tracy is the owner of clubbubbly.com. I know that for a dot yes. com, it's definitely catching people's eye. It has to. And, and same with Francis, um, who has with vegan wines. So can you tell us about where did you, did you design the labels? Do you work with an artist? 
uh, I don't have an artistic background, really, but I love everything uh, that involves art. Um, if I hadn't studied analogy, maybe I study art in, uh, or interior design, you know? But uh, the eyebrow label is designed by a friend of mine who paints in watercolor. They, she painted Alejandra Ness, the name of my friend, and painting the, 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 the paint, the cuadro, and then another designer for label, specialized in wine, uh, do the label. My idea is not make a label with a common um, draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to make painting and put in my house and then I make the, the label. And the idea is uh, it's not so easy because you can scan the image and then you can create the label. But this is the, um, the beautiful thing, obtain a, a good result. Uh, that's wonderful. I love that you're using local talent to help bring into your business and also female talent. That's wonderful. Uh, so you launched in the U.S. in February 2020, was it? Yeah. Really, I launched the first time in 2017 in Seattle. Oh, okay. With with uh, I imported over there, but for me the really time now is uh, with Francis in uh, 2020 in February. I launched okay. with two labels, I and Levita. Right, so we have Francis Gonzalez on the Zoom call this evening and now she's gonna get called out a little bit. <laughs> and Francis is the female founder of Despacito Distributors and she also has a forum called veganwines.com. So, Francis, can you tell us about how you and Andy connected and your excitement and enthusiasm and uh, impetus for bringing in uh, Mujer and Dina? Yes. Um, so, <laughs> Jose uh, Gonzalez from Tringario is the one person that I met in, from Chile, and he said you have to meet this woman i mean she has amazing sparkling and i just trusted him and I, and i said yes right so um andy came to new york uh, for her events and then i was like come on let's do a wine tasting i didn't even meet her yet i was just so like just talking to her on the phone it was like we were connecting and when i met her i mean i did taste the wines but you know just meeting her and stuff and she just is everything that the label and the wine is, you know, she's, um, she's just so passionate about life and about the wine and it tastes so freaking good. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and launching when you did, or I guess it doesn't, well, it does affect your business, but um, how has the wine done for you? given the fact that, that, well, you do have the online forum, um, but how has the wine performed? Coming in at such a sensitive time right before COVID, did that- Sold it out. Had, it sold out, yeah. Okay. Sold out. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> yeah. So when, when are you getting more wine? July. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah. Tracy, you have some on your website, right, Tracy? Okay, can you unmute and tell us what you have? <laughs> Uh, you're you're muted. There oh, we go. I, do I have to yeah. unmute? Okay. No, I um, so Tracy is the founder yeah. of clubbubbly.com, which is an online retail uh, wine club shipment forum. And we collaborated with Tracy uh, about a month and a half ago to do a Fizz's Female package. And we included the I in that package. So I don't, it's not sold separately. It's only in the package, correct? As of right now, but okay, I, I as was of right going now. to add it. Yeah. Yeah. So it will be available for single bottle sales. Yeah. Maybe. I'll do that maybe starting June 1st. Yeah, that's great. And then um, have you had feedback on the labels or are you People just are loving it. Yeah. yeah. My, my graphic designer who does my newsletter, she was in love with it. So she said, yeah. you know, can I get a bottle? And I said, of course <laughs> you can. <Yeah. laughs> so I dropped it off at her house and she was I love just that. thrilled. Yeah. I love that. So once, I love you love it. I love. <laughs> I love, I love yeah. it. So once, 
once it's available again. <laughs> I, and once oh, soon, very soon. I, I prepare all the, the, the bottles are ready and uh, wait for the, for the... And just wait, just wait. <laughs> yeah, wait for the... That's the what do you say? <laughs> barco, the barco, for putting the barco to the ocean. In the boat, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're boat. waiting on the cargo stuff, yes. Yeah, but, we're uh, almost ready. It, yeah. So are these the only two labels that are available in the U.S.? Do you have anything else in the works or are, because uh, I know you yeah, have, I am. Yeah, well, I know you have a couple of others that are in Chile that are not available for your, or, or not. Uh, or maybe I'm well, I, <laughs> I, um, some years ago, I have a red, red, uh, sparkling wine. Uh, red sparkling name is Gravita, but now it's uh, finished, the, the harvest and it's, the bottles, and it's a very good, very difficult wine to do again. But uh, we have a surprise because Mujer Andina uh, wants to spend the portfolio. And this year we harvest um, Cabernet Sauvignon and make a very beautiful rosé wine, no sparkling wine. Uh, and the name is uh, a surprise, which we will release later. And hopefully you will love that, um, these labels as well. And will we harvest Francis two. be carrying, will you be distributing the rosé wine, Francis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. And uh, I, I sent the, <laughs> the, the rosé in June too, uh, for she try um, because uh, the, the, the primary idea is Frances coming in March here to Chile for make a, a, a tour for the other wineries, uh, Chilean wineries he imports. But well, you know, the, the COVID-19, the coronavirus, I, uh, it's really terrible yes, in, the, in the world yeah. and uh, all the things uh, change. But uh, I promise you a very good, very good rosé with a lovely, lovely label I prepare in this moment with a lot of uh, passion and put uh, another all my creativity in this label we can't wait and, we can't wait um and go on sorry uh, and uh, two more wines a Pinot Noir but small quantity oh. for trying for Cura Cautin in the south of Chile and also a Carmenere wine I have uh, in barrels. I don't know exactly the, the time I'll um, be ready, but it's a Carmenere wine. But um, so even though we're producing wines, uh, we want to be primarily no, but the uh, producer of sparkling wines. Really, this is our passion, our, our brand is sparkling wines. But it's really necessary, I think, have uh, wines too because he's the, the brother, the good brother, the, the robust brother of the sparkling wine, a really good Carmenere is very Chilean great. Yeah. And the rosé is very important for the, uh, for the summer. And the swimming wine is uh, like in the pool, in the beach, you know? And so it's like- It is interesting to me. I mean, I love that you go into a place where people don't expect, like with the Champenois method doing the Syrah and for the Rosé doing Cabernet, um, you really are a bit of a rebel. What is your, it's a good that's thing. Actually one of the things, <laughs> that's actually one of the things that I loved about her even before I met her. It's, right. she, she was calling me almost every day and making sure everything was on target. And I'm like, she's a hustler, you know, yeah, being a New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're very adventurous that yeah, you do the Champenois method, but with the Syrah, and that you do the rosé with Cabernet versus Pinot Noir, and then the red sparkling. Is that similar to a Lambrusco? It's similar to Lambrusco, but it's really a, a more similar to Australian sparkling wine. Very red color, mm. very uh, good with with tannins, but. Um, in Chile was very successful, this um, red sparkling wine, but we decided to put my energy in Levita because it's my really favorite, I, I, I can I say, 
it's always it's my really favorite and in the eye because i want to make different kind of eye riesling or straminer and moscato eye and different um Kind of the same label eye with different woman in different position in the class i don't know but i always thinking in, in something new for give more opportunities and more bar, bar, variety, variety, variety yeah. varieties to the people because some friend of mine say, always say andy please i want some more sweet you know and i really don't want don't like so much the sugar but the people like it and i try to do brood because i prefer no so so much sugar and the levita is extra brood but the people want something little more sweet and i, I wouldn't to, say that for new yorkers uh, but that, I, mean, <laughs> I said i wouldn't say that's the case for new yorkers they tend to like drier sparkling new wines you know uh yeah okay yeah Very i mean good. the levita is perfect you know the, the i think like levita is perfect sugar 40 48 points of sugar per grain right. per liter it's very very good level but i i try to go one step by one step because it's a, a small project is if i'm it's family project i am uh, three little kids and i have a lot of work with the rosé with the vino with the sparkling, the bottling, the degorging. You're doing things. you're doing a lot for what you have on your plate. <laughs> my, so. my daughter say, Mama, you are an octopus. You are always trying to take things and say, Yes, I am an octopus mother. Do I'm you have a do mom. you have a do you have any tattoos? No. 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 Um have you thought I about want things? <laughs> Maybe you should do an octopus with sparkling wine. <laughs> um, so I, I'll speed this along because I'm sure people have questions. I want to mute, unmute everyone, let everyone get involved and, and chat. So um, I'll ask the uh, last few questions that I have. And some of these were sent to me by other people. Um, so what is your favorite food pairing with both I and Levita? Um, well, I, I have a little, uh, uh, no, a lot of ideas for eating with uh, sparkling, but I think I uh, goes with every kind of food. It's really mm -hmm. marries well with everything. But if you ask me, Andrea, what is your favorite? I think it's a strawberries with, with blue cheese. Strawberries mm. and blue cheese, it's, oh, it's, it's amazing. I love it. It's I with both. And in uh, Levita, I think in a uh, uh, grill, grilled salmon or grilled octopus or Thai food. But really, I think it's very gastronomic, have tannins of Syrah, it's more rounded in the mouth. And I think it, you, you can put Levita, um, uh, what do you say, from the starter to the dessert. I agree. I agree. Yeah. You can yeah. have it through because everything. I'm yeah. great with, with all the meals. It's very mm -hmm. gastronomic and you, you can taste different uh, depend the the dish. You know, is this a cheesecake with fruits, red fruits, or is the salmon, with Thai, a curry, chicken. I curry. agree, the octopus. And you also had mentioned um, duck, like the duck medallion or the oh, well. a gamey, or no, you said gamey, gamey or me. Like I can totally see like the duck medallions with the cherry, the stewed cherries on top, something like that would be really, really beautiful. Uh, as well. um, and I yeah. always <laughs> say it's very good with vegan food. Yes. Oh, yeah. Of course. We <laughs> yes, have friends. It's very yeah. nice. Yes, vegan. <laughs> I, I am really a no vegan person, but no. I, I, I vegetarian in some time. I, I eat, a, it's no vegetarian. Because Maybe more I eat, pescatarian. Like you, I, you, you yeah. I eat fish. fish. Yes. Always. I love fish and, okay. uh, and all come to the sea. I love the sea. It's, right, we both I, love the sea. It, we the have that in common. Is, for me, it's the 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 I might love it. It's the sea, see the 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 ocean, the Pacific Ocean. You know, I love it. I love the 
in Chile, it's very good, the, the seafood. The, it's very, the seafood. Very, Same very with good. Hawaii. So both of us are island girls. I'm from Hawaii originally. And we were talking about that earlier, you know, how we love the, and I always say, I'm like. We talk about the same. Yeah. But so, vegan food, we try in New York in uh, October with Francis. Definitely. Yeah, we of, should go around. A lot of vegan restaurants comparing very good with everything. The vegan food in United States is really amazing. It's you, getting you don't very know strong. It's, yeah. It's yeah. very magnific. In Chile, it's not so development i think uh, yet but in uh, france's no menu restaurant my, uh, wonderful mm -hmm. really really wonderful so on the note of you loving the sea um do you surf do you what are some of your hobbies that you do in chile when you're not harvesting and working on your budding business budding bubbly business do you are you into water sports or what are your hobbies uh, my hobbies are, well, the first hobby I love it is the yoga. I love it. Mm, uh, almost I became a professor, a teacher of yoga in 2010. And I study yoga and have my diploma. But uh, always I follow my dream. I make wines. I love wines and yoga, but wines win. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in the future I be... Uh, more uh, maybe a teacher of children of a uh, yoga teacher i don't know and i love gardening uh, i love uh, painting and photograph uh, this is my hobbies and, and do you I, design your own earrings because you always have the most the coolest earrings and jewelry uh, do you, do you no, design no. No, no 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 i i don't design i love the the jewels i don't what jewelry do you jewelry Jewelry. jewelry and yeah. i have many kind of jewels of uh, different kind of earrings I but I, I sell the earrings for another uh, artist a uh, leather artist in chile a woman francisca and i sell the earrings in the in the presentation of the wine in the first uh, because i i have i love her job and i love i love uh, help another um business women and uh, who start in the entrepreneurs you know and i i i try to to make different things with women and, and always i love it um well maybe we should do a collaboration with a bottle of wine and a pair of earrings that someone can add on as a as an add-on offer that would be fun and we should I, also do i send yeah. you in the, like, yeah, the yeah, wine. <laughs> I send you, it's very, very beautiful because it's leather. You think it's a, yeah. it's a what do you say, pluma uh, in the bird? Feather, but feather. It's, feather. it's leather, it's very. Feather, feather, yeah. Yeah. And if you want, leather, feather. Launch, <laughs> if you want, we can launch the earrings in New York. And yeah, you we should the, do it. The earrings, yeah. That sounds Probably great will be a hit, I think. So my last question before I unmute everyone is, um, what are your plans when the travel bans lift? And uh, what are your plans both for your own personal travel and for business travel? Where will you go? And what will you do? Uh, the business travel, I plan go to New York first. New York. In <laughs> October? Are you coming in October? To... <laughs> uh, we, we don't know because we have a Pro Chile project. Uh, we win a, a very good project with Pro Chile, but the situation in the country is difficult. And um, Pro Chile, um, what do you say? Say for this year, you you can't travel. It's mm -hmm. impossible. Uh, maybe next year in 2001. But if uh, I don't know, I I try to. Um, to make the arrangement. I don't know what happened with the world in October, but we have conversation, conversation with Francis and mm -hmm. speak about the, the event. But the first thing I do when this, all this uh, happens, it's, it's quiet. I want to travel to United States to promote uh, the, the sparkling wines, the wines and help 
chances you and the glue bubble uh, everywhere to increase the sales obviously i want to yay i can't wait for you to come and for us to tackle the market together uh, and spread the word about this beautiful bubbly i just love it so much and you you both know that oh, and i love yeah, you I both so much that. so thank you um so i'm gonna unmute everyone and if anyone has any questions let's go for it anyone <laughs> maybe like a, a hand raise but there's not a ton no one where, um, oh. <laughs> Andy, um, where is your vineyard located? In which region? Oh, it's in the Maipo Valley, Maipo Valley region mm -hmm. in Melipilla. Melipilla is uh, uh, near Santiago in the Maipo Valley. Mm -hmm. And in the, the region, the name of the small region is La Viluma. It's very... Uh, coastal influence, it's a coastal Maipo Valley, really. And it's very high in the mountains and it's organic. And the grape from the eyes from Bio Bio Valley to the south, south, oh, south of yeah. Santiago. I pick uh, in the Melipilla, I have the, the winery that we work it. But the, the grape from uh, I, the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir. I buy it uh, in Vio Vio in the south. Oh, wow. I think Christina has a question. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm doing product <laughs> plate. I'm trying to do product <laughs> plate. I thought you were going like this. I thought you were going like this. I thought you were a question. Cheers. But, yes. Cheers. Salut. 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 So, um, no, I really don't have a question. I'm just oh, so great. impressed. I'm loving, I'm loving this. I mean, um, I got it through Club Bubbly, through the Physics Female thing. And, um, and I think it is really cute. And that's one of the things that Blaine, um, you know, expressed. And I like, I like your idea of your product extension with the eye. So if they know they love this, they can get the eye, uh, the other types, you know, the oh, no, that is, that is the, the Gewurztraminer, the Riesling. Is this is my dream? Uh, when when I born in my in my mind in 2014, I think, oh, many many eyes with different colors of label, but different varieties, different ballets. This is the idea. Yeah. South, I love that. Or, you know. Different so you're kind taking of people. You're taking people on a tour of Chile mm -hmm. and showing yeah. them all of the wines around the world or around it's Chile. Very long, I love it. Very also, long uh, country yes. with many different kind of ballets, many kind of terroirs. This is amazing country. It's so cool. Yeah, it's very I, beautiful. I actually. I actually lived in Madrid for eight years, from 80 to 85, 90 to 95. So I lived in Madrid during that time. And my best friend, we always have cava for dinner. And her, her parents always have cava for dinner. So we were talking about traditions, half bottles and things like that, you know, just little um, things that people can enjoy, even though it's hard to put it maybe in a smaller bottle and all that stuff. Um, but you could think of Spain as a market because they do consume in England too, as you know, is a big con Europe in Sparkling, general. Do you have any plans yeah. to yeah. try to reach out to Spain or UK? I, I have many plans. Really. <laughs> I, I, uh -huh. well, I, I want to do it all. So many. <laughs> Too many plans. I tried to. Francis, I, we have to get I, Francis I on that. <laughs> Ah, uh, give me the numbers and I try to to do it. I I am very proud member of Mobi, the Movimiento Pequeños uh, Movimiento de Viñateros Independientes or Independent Movement of Vignerons in Chile. And we try to export to another countries, Brazil, Mexico, Peru, but uh, I don't try still to England or Spain because they have a lot of cava, they have Prosecco in Italy and, you know, sec in, uh, in Alemania, in uh, Deutschland, what do you say, Alemania, in Germany? Germany. Uh, Germany. 
uh, but I want to expand my uh, countries because Chile is a small country and the consume is not so, uh, not so big in wine. And I need export the product. I need export to the countries and show to other countries uh, uh, really a small bin business made by women. In, How about in Argentina? Country. Have you done anything with Argentina? No, because Argentina have a lot of uh, sparkling wine and uh, I never think in, in Argentina, so, but I, I try to Peru and send samples over there, uh, Brazil, uh, Costa Rica, we send samples and the people are very happy and we're talking with uh, Mexico now. Good, yeah. Uh, yeah. I see we have a Francophile on here. Not this. Okay. And Mary Lou. <laughs> and Mary Lou, do you have any thoughts on Chilean sparkling being a Oh, I, I, I don't believe I've ever had any. That's why I wanted to join today. So, oh. so I'm so happy I'm here. But I do have a question for you, Andrea. Uh, do you plan to go to Wine South Africa in Brazil in September and show your wine there? Is this a big show for you? Uh, in September? Yes, there is a... Uh, a, a big wine trade fair called Wine South Africa, oh, uh, South oh. America, sorry, Wine South America. Oh, America, okay. Wine uh, South I, America, I, sorry about that. It's in, uh, it's I don't in Brazil. listen about the show oh. in Brazil. Uh, yeah, in Brazil, yeah, yeah. I think they, they changed the provine to Germany it's, to, to it's Brazil. It's part of Vin Italy, I think. It, it's part yeah. of the Vin Italy brand. Yeah. In, in Sao Paulo, in Brazil, yeah. It's not in I, Sao Paulo, I, it's further south. I can't remember the name of the town. Oh, I don't know. It's further Maybe south. you can tell me. But yeah. in no, but I'm, in I may be going and it would be lovely to, if I could see you there. Yeah, definitely. Um, Mary yeah, Lou, definitely. Will you, will you email me the information so I can share? I will, I will, you, Blaine, sure. Ah, uh, yeah, Andrea, are you, you can okay? send me an email. Yes. Are you okay if I share your email with anyone on this Zoom who might be interested in contacting you for business or connecting when they're in Chile? Or are you okay if I share your email? Obviously. My yes. email is <laughs> mujerandinawines arroba gmail.com. I, I arroba is you. at. <laughs> at. <laughs> yeah, it's mujerandinawines. At Mujer Andina Wines. Yes. Dot gmail dot com. Dot gmail. gmail. No, no. Gmail. At gmail dot com. Yeah. Gmail dot com. Yes. I, I just put it in the thing for everyone. This, um, this is but, very, yeah, very good. This yes. Is very good. <laughs> yeah, and we can uh, have a conversation uh, with the situation in Chile and in the world. Uh, all the all the um, fairs and exhibitions and. Congress, everything in Chile, uh, the 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 um, provine in in German, all, all all is 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 cancelled. All the events. Same around the world. Right? And yes. I don't know what happened in two months more, in three months. I don't know. I only thinking in be safe, uh, save my family and work it, and thinking a lot and make many things for. Uh, launch the rosé, the Pinot Noir, the Carmen Air, and the degorgement of uh, Levita is next week uh, too. And I have a lot of work and uh, three children in the school in home. Oh gosh, it's terrible! A lot. <laughs> a lot. We definitely commend you. You are an octopus. Get your octopus tattoo. Um, yeah. Someone just said, Yuri, Yuri Frost just said, congratulations, Andy. She's the best winemaker, and I'm proud of her sparkling wines and her dreams. Oh, <laughs> Yuri is a really good uh, uh, woman in the, the industry, the wine industry, uh, and it's my sales, the cork, and many other things. She's a very good woman and know a lot of the wine industry in Chile. Thank you a lot. Thank you very much, Yuri Frost. Thank you. And um, I just want to ask if, well, obviously we have about 10 more minutes if anyone has any questions. I'm curious to know 
uh, from Francis, uh, what your plans are with Mohair and Dina moving forward as her distribution uh, representative? Well, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> we, we, Sorry, went, everyone's fine. <laughs> we tripled our order for from the first one because, you know, it just sold out so quickly. Um, and we actually are getting our license in Illinois just because there's so many interests about from her and Dringadio. Um, so that's, that's something good. And um, we work with Physis Female. So of course that's gonna, we have lots of plans once everything goes to the new norm. But she is my first, Mujer Andina is our first sparkling wine. And I am so grateful that it's one like this, you know, it's beautiful. The people behind it is beautiful. So yeah, the, uh, we're going to try our best for her to succeed because she's working hard and, and we want to support that because we love it. <laughs> we love Absolutely. the way. <laughs> and I don't even know if you've shared, shared this with Andy because I didn't know about her yoga background, but we were talking about teaming up with um, a friend of mine who has a company called Vino Vinyasa, female, uh, Morgan Perry, and she owns v Vino Vinyasa. And she's a certified, or we set certified, I think level three. And she does um, a yoga class while she's also educating about wine. So as soon as your new shipment comes in, we're going to sponsor slash promote a class with Morgan, uh, with the business female, Francis and yourself. So it's going to be this great, uh, yeah. wonderful collaboration that we'll do very soon. So um, again, like, I think we all, uh, what I love about this whole thing is that we're all just supporting each other and you know you're supporting a female artist a female jewelry maker i'm supporting you and francis and, and then you guys are supporting it's just all really working yeah. out beautifully it's all a kind of support between the the i think every time i think well we have a, a lot of uh, lucky for uh, join you and francis in new york because uh, I really believe in the project. I really believe in the in the wines, and I I am very um, proud of my small project. But I'm very proud of the the, the family behind uh, my, me and support me. And Francis very is very kind with me and try to help me always. Uh, and obviously, I think in the circle of women and circle of friends who try to support and make um, alianzas, I don't know the word in, in English. But alliances. 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 Yeah. For make yeah. a, and for promote and for do something to help each other, I, you know? And I, have a, I have a question, Blaine, mm -hmm. for Andy. So what was the first time you tried champagne and how did you know that you loved it? Oh. Oh. It's a big question. La, pri la primera <laughs> vez nunca se olvide. Nunca se the, olvide. La the first, vez. first time, first, first time, I was a, a shy. Uh, yeah, uh, in, a, in a happy new year, in a new year in my grandmother's house. In Chile, all the people take their sparkling wine in this kind of glass uh, with pineapple ice cream, you know. And then they put the 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 sparkling wine. It's like uh, the name is the Ponche a la Romana, the name for uh, the special um, time in the New Year. And this is my first time, and always remember my grandmother with this glass, and always try to take my sparkling special moment in this glass. And the second moment I remember very very good. Is I have a, a Argentinian boyfriend mm -hmm. uh, 20 years ago, <laughs> uh, very long time, 18 years ago. And they invite me to dinner uh, in Santiago. He came, he's architecture, and he came to Chile for a study. 
and uh, he invited me to dinner in a restaurant and say, Andy, what, what do you want to drink? And I said, I don't know. Well, maybe a Coca-Cola or wine, I don't know. I, um, and he, and she, he say, uh, ask for a champagne bottle. And I say, what? Uh, in Chile, in this moment, nobody take champagne or uh, <laughs> sparkling in uh, May. In Chile, in Santiago, no, it's, it's impossible. I say, he want to marry with me or what? He want to marry. Why <laughs> he asked for champagne in, 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 a, in a restaurant? It's my first date with him or I don't know, second date. Um, and well, in this moment, I think it, if the Argentina people drink champagne or whatever, sparkling Prosecco, whatever sparkling wine, every time, everywhere, I want to the Chilean people do the same because it's yes. amazing drink sparkling wine in, in a date. Um, and the I competition between time. Chile and Argentina, you know, with it's that. It's always a competition, it's terrible. Exactly. I love the Argentinian, I love. <laughs> but the Argentina don't love the Chilean people. I don't so know did, how, long, how long did the boyfriend last? Uh, <laughs> one year. <laughs> The, the the love of the sparkling wine lasted longer than the champagne. Yeah, I mean, than the I boyfriend. always I always talk with him. He he lived now in Barcelona in Spain, and I left him. I don't know why, but uh, I have very good remember with the this night with the sparkling with the champagne. Do you champagne. remember what what you ordered? Do you remember what what you had? No. Do you know what the bottle was? No, you can't remember. No, I think it's a it's a chandon. I I don't know remember, okay. but it's Argentinian or something like that. But in Chile, no so much sparkling wine. Eighteen years ago, it's not common to right. drink sparkling. All the people drink piscola or pisco sour. You know, another kind of drinking or roncola. You know, caipirinha, caipiroshka, whatever. <laughs> but no champagne in a date. And we are young, very young people. We know a lot of money. And for us, a bottle of champagne, when you have 20 years old and in the, and in the university, I think, what happened with this guy? Then I, and this is a funny story. <laughs> so any more questions? We have about five more minutes. Well, we have no more minutes, but we have, I'll give us five more minutes. <laughs> So I do have a question, Andy, because I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. So do you like, this is, this model is, I don't know if everyone can see it because the sun is hitting me, but um, I want, if you can, because I've been wanting to ask you this, so this is a perfect timing. What exactly does the back mean? Lo de atrás, tú me escribiste algo allá atrás. Sí. Uh, in English, uh, I try to say in English, uh, the sparkling wine uh, convert a woman more beautiful. I don't know it's exactly the, the translate for, for the... For I the, think it's the quotes that a woman... A quote. A bubbly wine is the only thing that leaves a woman more beautiful after yeah. she drinks it kind of thing that, yeah. that's like the quote uh, but it's I, I butchered it but that's essentially yeah. the quote this um, is Blaine you got it you got it <laughs> I, I I I make it some 30 bottles painted by hand with beautiful letter lettering and put uh, in the back quotes for the champagne uh, famous quote for people does every no. single bottle have a different quote yeah Everyone is different. The, the no, I, I have five per, per, per type, I think. I don't so know. So about five that different. That replicate. Okay. Yeah. Um, I love that. So is that wine available in the U.S.? Forever? Yeah. I, I, I oh, no, this is, this is the eye. Uh, no, oh, it's yeah. the la, la Levita. Levita. Right? It's, this is Levita. Levita 2014. It's the last one. It's, it's yeah. not the it's same just, now. Yeah. It's just that sometimes, uh, even though I'm Puerto Rican and we both know Spanish, it, she hand, you know, wrote it, uh, yeah. script, so I couldn't make it out. So thank you. <laughs> you saw it then, Blaine. You just you just made it up when she was talking about it. I just know I mean, the quote. You, you just... I know I know the quote. 
Oh, okay. No, I, I, I haven't gotten a bottle. I haven't seen oh any bottles. Goodness. Did I show you that when you were here? It's a baby. Blaine is a champagne lover. Blaine knows everything about champagne. <laughs> yeah. So I know the quote. Um, essentially, it's like it's only leaves a woman more beautiful after drinking it. And yeah, you know, yeah. Beautiful. But um, I love that though. Have you thought about doing that again? Because that's 2014. Are you going to recreate that or keep doing that concept of you hand painting? Uh, the the idea for for painting the bottle. It's beautiful, but I want to do more, um, the word in English Accessible, in, maybe you can get it. No, no, no. People. I try to do, say, industrial, in, industrializar esa parte, uh, because I, I explain. Commercial. It. When you more paint, commercial, maybe? No, because when you paint the bottle and you put in the, in the yelera with the eyes, Sometimes oh, the, the, yeah. there is no 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 permanent marker. So maybe and the, I try to, um, to make a label that appear like a note with a enterprise here. The, they made bottles with the label with the letters for put say that and no um, borrar no que no se borre. Lo que yo quiero es que permanezca la palabra escrita. That it doesn't wear off, it stays right. put. So maybe a more personalized label that's not going to wear off. Maybe that's uh, a direction. More right. people, too much people, uh, I have one and I put a light. <laughs> <Ooh. I love laughs> <it. laughs> yeah. I need this and, in my apartment uh, in New York City. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, I put maybe in Chile, um, the symbol of the Mobi, Mobi movement. Here are the barrels with the, the wings and a heart for the love I put in the bottle. But my idea is to uh, make something different and something special for Christmas or for some Valentine, you know? And I do this uh, quantity, but it's expensive paint. Uh, every bottle is difficult and it's a long time. And I try to do more uh, for a special because if you want, I, I send you 30, 50 bottles, I, I can do it. But if you want 1,000 bottles like that, it's more difficult because it's, it's handcrafted. I'll just take 50, Andy. It's okay. I'll just take okay. 50. You know, it's very, very good. <laughs> very good. I can do it. For you, I can do it. Everything. Yeah. So I think we'll wind down because the other week we went two and a half hours and Tracy was on that call. And it was, <laughs> I killed like, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, does anyone have any last minute questions? And no, not up. Well, uh, anyone can email me at Fizz's Female. So you just go to fizzesfemale.com and my email is right there if you want to talk to Andy or get any answers about her wines or more information um, or reach uh, Francis, her distributor. And thank you so much for doing this with us. You're such a pleasure. And I just fall in love with your wine and you more and more every time we have an exchange and the wine is just so beautiful and I can't wait to see what you do moving forward as you expand your line and thank you. Thank you very much <laughs> to you, Blaine, Tracy, Christina, Mary Lou, Frances, Jose Paez, Yuri, Latiki, <laughs> Michael, Sharon. Thank you everyone for joining us in the, in the meeting. For me, it's not so common to do the Zoom meeting, and I, I am a little nervous with my uh, English, but I try to understand, and I love the languages. I love friends. I love uh, learn about many things, and I, I um, very appreciate this opportunity, really. Thank you so much and have a great night and go enjoy your eye with some yummy tapas and Christina, you do the same and everyone you can find the wines, like I said earlier on veganwines.com, they have both the Levita and the eye and then on Club Bubbly, 
we have a really fun package, um, a physics female package. It offers three different female made owned or heavily led wines and the I Brute is part of that package. So, oh, and people that are like on this should be able to get a discount um, if you enter Fizz at checkout. So just go to Club Bubbly, type in Fizz is female and enter Fizz at checkout and you get a great box. And it also includes um, a face mask from a local, well, San Luis Obispo local where, where Tracy is based, um, a beauty company, right? Female, female made? Yes. Owned. Um, so thank you so much. And we can't wait till July when we can stock up on more. So whatever is in stock right now, go grab it. And otherwise you're gonna have to wait till July. <laughs> um, congratulations. You've done a great job. Thank Pursuing you, your Mary. dreams. Cheers. Cheers. So, Cheers. Bye. 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 And see you in the in the Instagram.